Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. So, I just got back from an event and uh, noticed that on the camera here, I could see something in the corner and it turned out to be the light. And what's happened is that the bracket has fractured. It's actually dropped right down, you can see it's corroded here. So I'm going to have to take that bracket off and weld it up. A bit of fun, but not too bad. That's the first part. I've got the uh, camera removed. Now it's got to move the actual lamp. I think it's about 14mm or something on there. I'll bolt that off there. Then I can take the bracket off and go and weld it up. Okay, there you go. That's the lamp off. That's for that hole there. You can see how fragile that is. And uh, I'm trying to start undoing the box. It's going to take a little while. Okay, so that's where the bracket was, just there. And uh, here's the bracket. So it's got some rubber mounts on the back there, as you can see. So I need to uh, go and weld this thing up. Okay, as you can see, I'm set up here. I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera, or even if the camera's going to like seeing spark welding happening. I've never used this welder before, so I'm not, not sure how it's going to work. I don't have gloves on, I should have gloves on, but I'm not going to bother. I'll usually get away with it. And you can see I've bent this back down again to be kind of the right place. I haven't polished it up or ground it or anything like that. I was going to try and see if I can strike an arc on it and see how we go. So it's going to be interesting to see how we end up with this. Um, I don't have got the right current set. It's a new welder. I've never used this one because my last one got lost in the flood last year. If you haven't seen that, then go back and have a look at that video. But uh, I've got my helmet on. Let's have a look, see if I can get this going. Push up a bit there. that hold it while I do the rest. I'm using a really thin rod because it's quite thin steel. I think it's a 1.6mm or something like that, it's pretty small. Okay, give it a chance to cool down then I'll just fill in this bit there which is gone because it had rusted right out and hope to see how the actual world ended up. Quite fortunate it's sunny so I can actually see through the uh, darkening of the visor. Just about. Right, it's just about gone. So it's welded, I don't know how well it is. Looks reasonable. Can't touch it right now because it's obviously going to be really hot. The other side looks okay. It's probably just fatigue from the, uh, from the spot lamp because the spot lamp was pretty heavy. Alright, okay, there you go, very roughly painted, my uh, spray can of primer was basically empty and had a uh, really low pressure so I actually wasn't spraying properly so it looks like crap but it's alright, it's covered in paint so it's all good. So I've chipped away all the swarf and stuff you get on there, chipped that away, put another layer of bead down, did another weld on it which didn't look cool and um, to give it a larger area so it's a bit stronger, a bit more bracing. Yeah, we'll see how that goes, hopefully it doesn't break again. So there you go, all repaired, back in place. Crippy paint job, you know, because again, I didn't have the paint, but um, I had to use what I had unfortunately, which isn't wonderful, but 
it was galvanised anyway, so I'm only really worried about the bit I welded. I've done quite a thorough job of coating that bit inside and out, so it should be okay there. And uh, it looks okay. Really, I need to strap across both of these, like a single piece of steel across there to brace it. Um, I haven't got anything here I can use right now though, so I have to uh, maybe look at adding that at a later date. Get this, get a piece of steel and run it across there, and that should brace that right up and make it much better. So it shouldn't happen again, but uh, it lasted four years. Can't be too bad. Yeah. It's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Trying to get it struck. Pretty sure I'll do this. 